happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Ready Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Asen Outer RD636W. It's an AM FM weather alert radio. I got this off Amazon for $10 shipped. It was on sale. Normal prices run about $20. Bucks. They had a 49% off coupon and I had to take it. See what this thing's about. I love my weather radios, and for 10 bucks, it's worth a shot. Here's a box that came in. Dynamo Solar Power Rechargeable Weather Radio. NOAA Weather and Radio. This is all over the place. Got the model number. Got a picture of my radio right there. That's the color scheme. Black with an orange border. Uh, you got some stats here. Um, so one that stood out was this battery. It said 3.7 volts, 1,000 milliamp hour. I thought that was kind of weak, and I saw on their ad... They said 1,000 in some of the writing, and some of the writing said 2,000. So I took the radio apart. It has an 18650 cell on it, and I'm going to assume it's going to be a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. I haven't seen an 18650 cell in the 1,000 milliamp category. If you guys have, let me know. But uh, I'll bet you this is a 2,000. Um, it definitely has the 18650 in it. Sweet. So this is the box. Pretty simple. There's the other co color combination. They have red and orange, which is nice. Let's open this up. See what we get. Let's get radios, cable, anything else? Okay, looks like it. All right. First things first, we get the power cable. This is to charge the internal 18650 lithium battery, like I just told you about, and, of course, to charge your micro USB devices. Always nice to get one of these. I have a million of them, but, hey, if this is your first emergency radio, you got one. Okay, we got some directions. Okay, let's get these directions out here. All right. So, yeah, pretty simple... I don't think I even looked at these because <laughs> it's not really necessary, but they give you an idea of what the radio does. Um, its features. We got some uh, specifications. Again, I think that was in the box. There's your frequency range for the frequency nuts in you. <laughs> um, gives you a little bit about the LED and stuff. Okay, that's what the inside looks like. All right. Uh, sometimes I'll tell you um, how long it takes to charge. Okay, here we go. 25 hour approximate charging time for full charge via solar. So it's going to take a while. It's a small panel, and typically these radios don't charge very fast with the sun, so don't be in a hurry to get it charged using that method. Uh, let's see what it says for the hand crank here. Um, it says, let's see, 120 per minute. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Doesn't really say how many minutes you get a radio, but um, if you're using the 5 volt in to charge it, it takes about three to four hours to charge the battery. It sounds about right for a 2,000 milliamp hour battery, even though this paperwork does say 1,000 on it. But uh, like I said, I'm going to lean on the fact that it probably is a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. Okay, so we're gonna close that up. That's pretty simple stuff. Let's get on to the radio. All right, comes bubble wrap, which I like to see. Always nice. Yeah, it's got a cool color combo. I love the black on the orange. I think it's awesome. Let's go over dimensions. Um, we have six inches across, three inches high, and a case depth of one and a half inches. So we've got some size comparison to do here. Let me just kind of bring this up a little bit. And we'll bring a couple other radios out. I have a really cool one to show. This one here, you haven't seen in a little while. This is the Sanjin. This is the MMR88, to give you an idea of her size. Get that on camera there. Uh, the Sanjin is a quite wider radio, as you can tell. Um, and it has a smaller battery, actually. The battery in this thing is like super tiny. It's like a, a little half cell. I don't know, is it 18350? So yeah, the battery in this is bigger. <laughs> but it gives you an idea. Okay, and then I have the ever popular CC Pocket here. It's a weather radio too, by the way. Just very portable. Has weather alert also. Uh, but it doesn't have a light. <laughs> it doesn't recharge. You have to take the batteries out, but there you go. Pretty cool. All right, and then we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can do it like no one can. <laughs> there you are. It's a deck of cards, and I'm always a proponent of keeping a deck of cards with your emergency radio. So you have something to do if you're sitting downstairs and it's storming outside and the lights are off and you got your flashlight with your emergency radio or lantern and 
and you're bored and sitting there, not, nothing to do, you can play some solitaire, or if you got friends, family with you, you can play some games. So always good to have a deck of cards with the radio. I think so. <laughs> you guys can probably agree. All right, just off tangent. It's just a nice thing to recommend. All right, so we're going to lower this back down. We're going to go over some features here. Okay, pretty simple radio. Um, it's really, first thing, it's real durable. The plastics are high quality. Um, everything feels very strong about this. It's all, you know, hard plastic. There's no soft touch to this radio, which a lot of you guys will probably like. Um, like I said, it's, it's very well made. Um, you know, there's no creaking. There's no, no nothing loose here. So definitely a good solid radio. Uh, Left-hand side, we got the LED. And on top here is the switch for the light. Go ahead and turn it on, give you an idea. If we're doing the audio check, I'll turn the lights off and you kind of see how bright it is on my desk here. Um, so there's the LED flashlight. We have a DC out of 5 volts. You know, this is a really good feature for charging a tablet or cell phone in an emergency. Also for charging other radios. You know, people don't think about that, but like your Tiv Dio, so people, you know, who collect radios know that they probably have one of those one of those radios that run on a BL5C battery, this will charge it really fast. Um, so, you know, the capacity on those are about half of what this thing can offer. So you could use this to charge a, you know, a different receiver, which is nice. I always like having options. Um, there's your DC in of 5 volts, so you can charge the internal battery. So it is, you know, this is, I think, a really cool power bank for the money, you know, from right off the bat. Give my final thoughts, but hey, um, so that's to charge the internal, which is nice. Okay, so here we got the little NOAA weather alert and the model number. Got a little two-inch speaker behind there. Kind of tinny sounding. Nothing spectacular, but you can't expect a whole lot from emergency radio. Just gets the job done when you need something in emergency. Um, this would be good to throw in a, a go bag and stuff like that or in the car. So here we got our dial. Um, we have FM A7108. We have our NOAA band, channel 1 through 7. Uh, AM band 520 to 1710. We have a charge indicator. If we cover up the solar panel, you can see it's taking a charge right now with my lights. Um, and you, of course, you get band info. We got tuning indicator light when we're in tune. It's an easy to read indicator. You got white background with that uh, red dial indicator. Here we have a switch to operate on the internal lithium battery or optional AAA dry batteries. And I'll show that to you in a second. So you can turn it to either one, which is pretty nice. Let's go back to power. Okay, so over here we have our band select switch, FM, AM, NOAA, and alert mode. Alert mode's great. You tune in your, your uh, loud station for NOAA, turn up the volume to where you like it, and then turn it to alert mode. And then right there, when you're alert, if an alert comes through, the radio will turn on. Very handy. Right-hand side, we have the tuning wheel. And we have the volume on-off wheel. Nice. Top, you saw that switch for the light. Turns the light on. And if you turn it one more, it turns on the DC out charging feature, which does not allow you to run the radio, but it will let you charge your devices. So pretty handy, like that. Okay, top of the radio, we have an antenna, 16-inch. It's just a simple, basic antenna. Um, nothing spectacular there. Doesn't pivot, just goes up and down there. Okay, back of the radio where it gets interesting. We have the Dynamo, and Dynamo's actually not too bad. Um, you know, I'm not a Dynamo, Dan, Dynamo, I'm Dynamo, <laughs> Dynamo lover, um, but it works pretty well. Um, I wouldn't go crazy with it because it doesn't seem like it's super strong, but it'll get the job done. Light goes on when you're spinning this. So to really get a charge going, you have to go 120 times a minute. Uh, but you know, in an emergency, at least you know you have it, so that's a good thing. Here is a cool feature I like about this, this radio is it has the ability to run on optional AAA batteries. Yes, yeah, so there you go. There's a little diagram there. You can see which way they go in. Um, nice to have because if your internal battery ever dies because it's not replaceable, unless you're fun at taking radios apart and knocking the epoxy loose and, and wiring a new battery in, uh, you can just add AAAs right in there. You know, you got your remote controls around the house. Take, take the batteries out, put them in here, and off you go. So... I like to see that. I like this black and orange combo. I think I might have mentioned that before, but I think that's neat. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception, and we'll do a little audio check and a little light check on this thing. The FM uh, sensitivity was okay. Uh, Two-star rating, not spectacular. Got about 35 stations. Typically, on my most average radio, I get 48 to 50 stations. So it didn't, pre didn't perform very well. I noticed most of my stations came in after like 95, 96 megahertz and up. Anything before that, I was maybe got one station, and typically I get about 10 or 12 stations down there. So I don't know if there's an issue with my radio in, in the lower part of the band or if this is how it's made. So just want to put that out there. But still got quite a few stations and enough to where you can get information if you need it. Um, so then my FM selectivity was located good, so the one the stations it did pick up, it locked in, and nice, strong, and it sounded really good. So pretty pretty impressed with that part. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a audio check. So I got Radio Tatterberg going. Turn us on. We have to tune it.
There you go. What's in that bait? Yeah. <laughs> I killed the whites. Gives an idea for the sound. I'm just gonna turn that off there. Turn that off. Okay. So that gives an idea for the audio. We're gonna go ahead and go to Noah. Listen to the alert here. Not alert. The uh, Noah band. Okay. I like how it's flush mount there. It's kind of nice. You can't bump it by mistake. All right, let's go ahead and turn it back on. Let's see if I can tune my station in. in. Statement: Spotter activation will not be necessary through tonight. At 9 p.m. at Chicago O'Hare, the temperature was 4 degrees, the dew point was 33, and the relative humidity was 68%. The wind was west at 8 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.9 So you find your NOAA station, and then you just set to alert, and it'll play at that volume that you left it at and the station you're on uh, if an alert comes through. But the radio is always on, so you will drain the batteries quickly unless you get it plugged in charging. 43, Moline reported 44, and Bloomington reported 41 at O'Hare Airport. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go to the bottom of the band here. We'll go to AM. Now, the AM performance on this radio uh, wasn't spectacular. I mean, I wasn't expecting a whole lot for a $10 radio. Um, uh, so we're just going to give it a give it a go here. Um, it has FM. Like I said, it was really nice. And maybe we'll, we'll get the chance. We'll play with the FM a little bit. But the AM, I got my local stations. But it has like a, a tone to it across the band. Let me show you. Well, it's self-constitutional because it seems there may be an issue that Congress... It's got this little high pitch. ...that they don't have the authority wine. to see that. You turn the light on. I want your opinion on that. It kind of changes that noise. Listen, it's been litigated. It was back in 1976, and then it was actually... It's interesting how it almost sounds like it's better with the light on. <laughs> and the way the Constitution had been... Legend. He's a hoop legend in Burbank. Yep. 
I did some things. We got a couple legends from Burbank. Him and Jay Zawaski. Yeah, Jay Zawaski, St. Lawrence. Sacked Donovan McNabb twice. And then found out it wasn't Donovan McNabb. <laughs> Is that the story, Herbie, that he said he thought he had sacked Donovan McNabb it's around right point Seaver. Sends it left point four swing along wrist shot. Missed the net. Who's puck to the far board? Lindbaugh. Put it out to the line, and Voracek will hook the puck to center ice front of the benches to break it out of there. Put it across the force. Yes, Margaret? It's a wonderful story. A beautiful story. It makes me want to cry. Oh, I have a better idea. I'll take my first Christmas present. A kiss. Oh. Merry Christmas, Jim. Merry this is, Christmas. This is on the radio, I think. Christmas. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um, Zuma Radio is uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. To Father Anderson's Christmas wish, the makers of Post Wheat Meal would like to add their greeting. In this holiday season, may Christmas bring the most in happiness to you and yours. <laughs> Christmas music in the spring. A bit. Father Knows Best was transcribed in Hollywood and written by Ed Jake. Join us again next week when we'll be back with Father Knows Best, starring Robert Young and Jim Anderson, with Roy Barkey and the Maxwell House Orchestra, and yours truly, Bill Ford. So until next Thursday night, for myself and for the makers of Maxwell House Coffee, let me wish you again a very, merry, merry Christmas indeed. the light on. <laughs> got a big enough battery. So yeah, this is 740 coming in beautifully. Cool. Coming up in the next half hour on News Radio WBBM, questions mount. 737 planes involved in two deadly crashes more ahead from CBS News. Campaign contributions are front and center in the latest mayoral debate. This is Mike Krauser. 780 WBM Chicago. Their team of experts at Larson Tax Relief. Yeah, I'm surprised how sensitive this radio is. cruise the band here, see what we can find, but we're finding stuff. It's cool. Good $10 radio rocking. I guess that buzzing wouldn't bother me if I need to know something in an emergency. It's not like I'm going to listen to this thing all the time. Yeah. It's good to know I can get some distant stations with it.
on Capitol Hill. This is Fox News. What if I told you it's fifteen forty PXL, about two hundred ten miles? Brain pill of the future. Because <laughs> we need our brain pills. <laughs> On top of the band here in a little while. Uh, you know, we'll hook up that fan. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so there's the top of that. I think that was 1700. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and turn off for a second. We'll go to FM. I'm going to raise this antenna. Now, I'm downstairs here. I'm going to hook up to a little wire just because I'm in the basement. Um, you know, it's not a bad thing to have with an emergency radio. There's a little bit extra wire just in case uh, you don't have good reception on NOAA Weatherband. You know, a little simple clip on wire like this you can buy off uh, Amazon. I'll put a link below for this radio and for this wire. Um, pretty simple. And you can clip it right to the mast here and extend it to your window if you have to. It does really improve performance as far as it increases it on NOAA and FM. So let's go ahead and show you what it does here. I'll put on FM. We'll cruise through really fast. Just make sure the antenna's out of the way there. Okay, turn it on. Okay, I'm at the top. Let's go to the bottom. Yeah, because I was pretty dead pretty much at the bottom of the band. you start believing that I can anything. Come on, people of God. Where's your faith? ...of Israel, I will judge every one of you according to his own ways. Oh, there's that... <laughs> Some strange music. So you got this DSP, you gotta go slow. She wrote Preckwinkle a one thousand dollar check toward her fall re-election bid. Now, give the money back. Give it back. I'll give I, you the address. I tell you 71 what. Seventy-one South Atlanta. I tell you 606 what. Six oh six oh four. Instead, Preckwinkle targeted forty thousand dollars in so-called dark money. So tuck your chain. I'm a killer. All right, cool. So you got a little bit of FM tape. Yeah, it works pretty good in FM. I like you. A little, a little bit of FM there. Okay, let me go ahead and retract this. We'll do final thoughts on the Asenautor RD636W. 
It locks in nice and tight there, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, this radio is a great buy for like around 10 bucks, uh, 12 bucks. You know, if it's on sale, pick it up. Um, definitely uh, worth having. Like I said, I enjoy the you know, lights bright on there. Um, I enjoy having this. Uh, it like, feels real durable. Um, it's very simple, basic, uh, gets the job done. Um, it's a radio that works. That's most important um, when you buy a radio. At least you can hear the stations. It's, it is working. Um, it may not have the greatest reception, but it does pick up what you need, the weather alert, the AM stations local, your FM stations local. I mean, you're going to be able to hear all those things. Um, you know, if you need a DX radio, you got to get something else. Uh, but this radio will help you um, in an emergency situation if you have those stations nearby. Um, having a light is really fantastic. Having a, a high-capacity battery in here. Um, like I said, I, I believe it's 2,000 milliamp hour. I took it apart. It's definitely 18650 cell glued in there. Um, so yeah, it's got a bigger cell, which I like. I like seeing that, and it's lithium. It's not a little nickel metal hydride pack. It's actually robust, and it'll get the job done with charging radios. Like I said, you can always use this to charge like a Tivdio or a. Here we go. You can use it to charge your radio. Wow, if you got one of these little shortwave radios, and you're, you lose a charge on it, but you're using this one for all your listening off the grid, use this to, to charge this. Why not? You got a cheap power bank, and uh, you can use it to charge your nice shortwave radio. And uh, you know, listen on the radio on this one instead. So it's just a neat, neat thing. These can kind of coexist together. Um, just an idea, you know. I, I mean, if you can afford both, great. If you can't, then you know, just get this here for ten bucks, and off you go. At least you have something. Something's better than nothing. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm really liking the setup. I like the fact that it has the AAA batteries in the back. Um, you know, solar's it said 25 hours for full charge. That's not bad. That's full sunlight. So you got to imagine you got to divide that by three. Typically, three sunny days. Um, to get it charged. So if you use it lightly, it'll probably get you through uh, in a pinch if you're out without power for about a week or so, which would be a long time. But that has happened to a lot of people. So, uh, but yeah, overall, liking it for the price, $10, $12 price range is great. 20 you can start looking around for different radios, what suits you best, because at the $20 price point, there's just so many of them. I can't tell you which one is the best in the $20 market. There's just a lot of them that do a good job. Um, this company here, Ace and Outer sells another one that does a pretty decent job around $20 mark. The Tamahoons do a decent job around the $20 mark. They have a great flashlight on them, good power bank feature. I think they have a little bit of reception on the, on the bands. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, for a, an expensive radio, if you keep seeing this one on sale, definitely one not to pass up for sure, especially if you get it near that $10 figure. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you watching. Um, if you enjoyed the presentation of the Ace and Outer RD636W, Please give me a big like. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Two, if you're new to the channel and you like emergency radios in general, um, check out my emergency radio playlist. And, of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I get notified of future videos because I'm always reviewing emergency radios. They're one of my favorite radios to review. And then, of course, uh, three, comment below what you think about this particular radio in general. Would you keep something like this as a backup radio to your main one or your only one? Or would you put it in a car? You know, just give me some ideas what you would do with it. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.